already have our local environment set up. Our next step is to actually get our site on S3. First, you'll need to have a AWS um, account. If you haven't created one yet, you can get over at AWS, Amazon.com and create one for free. I already created my account, so I'm just gonna sign into the AWS console. And your page may look different depending on how much you use and or which service you use the most. The easiest way I find to look for any service is if, if this is the first you're using AWS is to just type in the service and you can actually um, add it to your favorite. So we're gonna select S3. And I haven't created any bucket yet, so you do get some useful information here. Feel free to check them out if you're not familiar with S3. I'm gonna go to create bucket. So let me just show you guys, no bucket listed. So let's hit create bucket. Now one very important thing about S3 is the bucket names have to be unique, not to your account, but globally. So one good, uh, good. Uh, so one great way to do this is to name your bucket quite similar to your domain, and in my case, I already know this is available. So you can name your bucket um, any with any domain you have or any unique name that you um, want to name your bucket. I'm going to leave my bucket um, region to US East one. Feel free to change the settings if you're in a different region or if you think your website will be used from users from a specific region mostly. And that's about it. We want to scroll down and we want to uncheck block all public access. Since this is a website, we do need anyone to be able to access the content of the site itself since it's all static um, content. So we're going to uncheck this. And you will get a warning just telling you this is <laughs> a bit risky. And since we know we're using this primarily for just static file access, we're going to acknowledge that. Scroll down and we're going to create our bucket. If your bucket name was unique, you should be on this page just showing the name of the bucket. There are a few additional settings that we need to set. So go ahead and select your bucket and head over to the properties and you want to scroll all the way down. We want to enable static website hosting. This will be disabled by default. So it's edit and enable. In here, there are some also, here we have also some other useful settings. And one very nice feature is the ability to redirect requests. So if we want to create another bucket, maybe just with the name of, with a name without the dub dub dub, we can actually create that second bucket and if someone types that in, we can forward them. So we sh I'll show you the set it up later, but for now we're gonna leave it by the default OC static site. And you do wanna enter these. If you have different settings, um, follow, um, enter the appropriate names. I'm just gonna use the default. And that's it for this section. Let's go over to permission. The final thing is we need a bucket policy that tells Amazon who's, who can access the bucket. You can find these um, policies all over the internet and copy and paste them. I'll show you an easy and fast way to get it created. So if you hit edit in this bucket policy section and over to the right, we're going to add a new statement. This service should be S3. So we type it in and we want to look for get objects since we want this permission. So if you hit I, it will give you some more information. So this grant permission to retrieve objects from the S3 bucket, and that's what we need. We also want to add a resource. The resource will be of type object. And here you want to replace this bucket name with your bucket name. followed by star since we want all files in the bucket to be accessible. So it should be your bucket name slash star. And the final setting is for prefix. Since this will be public, we want anyone to be able to access the site. So we're just gonna put star there. If you wanna lock your site down more to specific IPs, there are a lot of, you can actually research um, ways to make this principle be more um, restricted. And that's about it. So we're gonna hit save. And we actually have a S3 bucket that can serve website. 
a matter of fact if you go over to properties you will get and scroll all the way down you will get a url of course we have no content here so if you try to go there you should get a 404 um, not found so let's close this out the next step is we want to build our static um, site and then upload those files to the s3 bucket so go over to your id where you have your bucket and i'm going to do an npm run build and if actually i need to cd into the my site folder and i'll just clear this so it's a lot more readable and i'll run a npm run build if this is the first time you, you're um, running this command you may not have this build folder i'll have already compiled a few times so we should be there but this is what we need so give this a minute Now that our site is built, we should be able to grab all these um, files within the build folder and copy them over to S3. So if we go back to our S3 bucket, scroll all the way up, and you want to go to objects, and we want to upload objects. And the easiest way is to drag the files over. So I'm just going to navigate to my site folder, and my site is on my desktop, and it's React Deploy. React Starter, and in the build folder, you want to grab all the file, including the static folder, and drag them over to S3. And this should be pretty quick since this is just a bare bones site with not much on files. Click upload and give this a few seconds. And that's it. Let's hit close. And if we go back to properties and scroll all the way down, we should be able to see that React page unloaded. And that's how easy it is to get a React site running in S3. Now, while this is very easy and fast, it's um, there's a few drawbacks here. One mainly is the site is served up on HTTP, so it is unsecure. And this is good for testing, but if you want to share your site, um, you may want to have it protected um, using some type of cert. And in the next video, I'll show you how to use CloudFront as a secure means to do that.